background. Making some noises because you can us. Um, <laughs> we could do with showing people how they're propped up quite a bit further away. Maybe I should take a photo and then you can um, Yeah, take a picture then you can see how we're doing it. So we've got the biscuit. We've got the biscuits making um stand high enough so we don't want fat, gotta keep it high. So we've got a double chin. Yeah, um, I have got a double chin. And we've got a mag mount to does it work? Took a picture. Uh, yeah, Wait there, we're gonna show you now. Hi everyone. So that's how we're doing it. So we've got um, a mag mount phone to the stacked up on biscuits. Um I boiled a kettle to make a drink. And I've not made it yet. <laughs> but some people have already sent some questions, so I've, sa I've saved them on Gemma's phone. But if anyone has got any questions that you want to ask Gemma, um, to anyone that doesn't know, Gemma drives a Scania truck for... Sorry, I just don't know what, what not the work surface over. For... Wayne's Transport. And you are based in... Uh, Clempton, Devon. So that is basically like... You've got the country's like a bit this shape. It's kind of like here, right right down in the corner. So she drives a bulker, carting grain. Yep. And stone. Sand. Sand. Anything. Sand. So she's been delivering sand today to Borre. Well, Ram's Bottom, which is yes. near Borre, which is where Rich is from. <laughs> yeah. James is trying to join in. He's, he's the, if anyone hasn't seen, um, he's trying to, he's eating his bananas. Oh, well, that's funny. Well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go to bed soon. So, the first, someone sent some questions on my YouTube before, but if anyone's got any other questions, put them in the box. So, uh, let's start at the bottom, so we'll do it the right way around. Uh, what's your dream tractor unit and car? Hmm. Dream tractor unit would... I think it's a very hard question because... Your dream tractor unit would obviously be like your V8, Scania, 770. With a snoopy nose. With... No, I, I'm no, no, it wouldn't be a ball nose. I'd want a long line, personally. What's the long line? I mean, like, so a, like... the cab's bigger at the back. Yeah, yeah. But aren't the ball noses safer? Probably, but... Because I, I watched something on YouTube and it was about how in America, they had, um, they were all called cab overs, weren't they? So the cab was on top of the engine and that was to make them the right length. Right. But, but then when he said they changed the length limit, they all then put the cab behind mm. and then they, they kind of flatter forward and then the bigger end, then they had obviously the engine in front, so they had more cab space again then. But they obviously made them a little bit more dangerous, but because out there it's so big, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and it's weird in America, because I have been out to America to visit a girl who is a um, female trucker out there, and I spent the week with her. Um, but in her cab, it's so much smaller. It's really weird. They don't make a lot of the space that they've got. So, like, the European cabs tend to be space efficient because we've got smaller roads, whereas out there, the cab is very small, and some of the living areas are behind, so you'd have to get out of the cab and then back into the Oh, what? Well, that's a, area. like a shed on the back. Yeah. I've seen some that in them films, are. but I didn't, I just thought it yeah. was just because they were filming. And then some you can walk through, with, but it's, it's very strange. Like, they haven't changed the shapes of their vehicles for many years. So, like, I seen at a truck show, there was two trucks next to each other that were built 20 years apart, and they looked almost identical. Whereas mm. if you've seen two Scania's 20 years apart, um, They'd look very different. Um, mm. Do you think? I bet underneath, the, uh, I bet the probably plastics. Under, underneath, the plastic, maybe, but, but they that, did look identical. No, I would probably say that underneath they're probably the same. They just keep changing the plastic on the front grill. Because the only thing that's really ch happened, I think, with wagons and tractors, <laughs> other than like moving buttons and switches around the cab and digital dashboards, in the last sort of 20 years of emissions. Yeah, oh yeah, emissions have changed. Like, my truck is probably better than some cars now. Yeah, but but every year they put the price up because mm. you've changed. There's a new thing of emissions, but the tractors the, the, the tractors aren't doing any more than they did twenty years ago. They've just the emissions yeah. keep changing, and I reckon trucks are probably the same. Yeah, you know, they're still probably. they're still like the same comfort level. 
Mm. But now, obviously different engines. Um, I don't know whether I'm supposed to answer that as well. Favourite car? GR Yaris. Truck. I like I like the um, the roller coaster truck. I think Pete's um, scan your bull nose that we use on the tractor run is amazing. Right, where are we at? Uh, how did you start lorry driving? Well, that's a bit of an interesting one. Um, I'm heavily involved with Bridgewater Carnival. Oh, I and see. I've heard this story. If you've cool. not seen Bridgewater Carnival, don't look it up now because we're obviously on a live stream. No, and after but... <laughs> this, watch my video and then go watch one of Gemma's. So look up Bridgewater Carnival. They are 100 foot long. Surely you've got pictures on there. Oh, yeah, probably. Um, they're 16 foot high and 11 foot wide. 16 foot high? Is that yes. not like 4.8 metres? So they will... 16.6 is your limit over in this country. Um, so double deckers would be 16, or bridge, bridge heights, maximum bridge heights is 16.6. So um, we used to be 16.6 and we kept taking down power cables. So they changed it to 16. Um, so our combine is four meters, which is about um, 13 foot three, would it be? Because 10 foot is yeah. three meters. Yeah, somewhere around there. 13 foot 4 maybe. She's going to get a picture on her phone. Bridgewater Carnival is a great night out. I, both my wife is from Bridgewater. Ah, oh, yeah. Bridgewater both Carn your wives? Wow. <laughs> Bridgewater Carnival is fantastic. And that, when I was 14, I decided that I was going to drive a carnival car. Um, and that is basically what made me get my licence. Someone's popped in while they're having their so... tea. I don't know if you can see. So that is the front of the carnival cart. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work, Good did job it? Down the room, aren't it? <laughs> so that is it moving. And how many lights did you say were on it? Oh, tens of thousands. And there's two trailers as well. So it's a huge thing to move. and. When we go from carnival to carnival, we actually have to split it into two sections to be able to move it. So when you say carnival to carnival, they won't be on the same night though, will they? No, so there's seven carnivals over two weeks. Um, and each carnival, it's basically the same process. So Bridgewater tends to be the biggest with more walking entries and different things going on. And it's, it's like the first, it's a, the first time the carts have come out of the shed. So it's really exciting. Um, but yeah, that's why I got my license was because I wanted to drive a carnival car. I never envisaged that 14 years later I would be driving trucks for a living. There we go. That's how it started. Just to do something. Pete, uh, Peter. So I'm reading the name on it and James <laughs> is making a funny noise and I'm like, Peter's making a funny noise. <laughs> Will you be at Truck Fest in Peterborough? That's what I was reading. Ah, uh, I... I really want to go. I don't think it's going to be possible. I will see at the time. Um, at the moment, I'm doing sort of the job that I do. It's almost the hours of two full-time jobs. I'm trying to do up a house. I'm trying to start a YouTube channel. Um, and I've got loads of other things going on with Carnival and different things. So I'm really, really stretched at the moment. I really want to go, but I don't know. We'll see. David said, Dave says he's getting his rigid licence. Have you ever thought of doing truck racing? Andrew asked. Oh, I'd love to have a go. Do you know what? Somebody asked me to, um, oh, I can't remember his name. Really nice chap. Um, Asheville. No. He said, he's not he's truck a truck racer. racer and he said, oh, come down and have a go. But I can't remember his name to go and find him. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to have a go. But I think it might be quite expensive because... You're bound to smash them up a bit. I, I've never seen it near here. I've only ever seen it on the telly. Um, someone's going, uh, da, 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 da. how does the weight work? Did you need movement orders? Oh, what, for the carnival? I presume they mean the carnival stuff. Yeah, yeah. so everything has a movement order. Um, but this year, we've actually applied for our movement order. And for those two weeks, we don't actually have to keep informing... Um, anybody of our movements, we can just go on and move it. Oh, Although, like a dispensation. That's what we do with yeah. the combine, yeah. 
So basically, um, we normally move them on the night of the carnival. So once carnival's finished, we will move them to the next carnival um, so that they don't get in, in anyone's way. It's easier to move them at night almost. But yeah. Callum says he's loving your videos. Now, because oh, you. we're kind of like new to doing it. So I did it the other day with the air ambulance and it was successful. There's a lot of people watching, similar number to now. Do we look at each other when we're asking each other questions or do we look at the camera? There's oh a question God, for the, for the bridge. Bridge Vaux Carnival is definitely a great night. You'll have to go, Ollie. It's a bit fun. Yeah. What's the best mod you have in your cab or a must have truck mod? Um, I don't know if it's a mod, but my absolute favourite thing is a heated seat. I just don't think you can beat a heated seat. I don't know why. Well, it's just comfort in, isn't it? So that discovery I bought it off my friend and it's got um, a heated steering wheel. No, oh. that is better than a oh, heated really? seat. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, didn't oh, know so anything about When you're really cold and you're going like that. Cause it's, just, it's just, <laughs> it's mad. So uh, my car's actually got one on now. Um, will you be going cereals? cereals? She is off that week. She's just told me she's off that week. Oh, so maybe what, you should. The second week in June, is yeah. it? Well, I it's, have got a few. Third. Uh, yeah, I've got a few things planned for that week. Something really exciting for the second weekend. Uh, what's your favourite biscuits? Favourite biscuits has to be a Bourbon. Hands down, Bourbon. What's your favourite car? Baggies. Of so Baggies. Baggies is um, basically a shortened term for Vagabonds, which is my, the carnival club I've always been involved with. What's my favourite car? Well, that's easy. Uh, Viva Brazil in 1999. That is the car that made me decide to be a truck driver. Uh, oh, rich, t rich teas are good, to be fair. I do you should like do an tea. Amazon gift list or whatever it was called, <laughs> uh, wish list. What, over. and end up with yeah, loads yeah. of biscuits? <laughs> is that why those um, biscuit questions are coming through? Must be, yeah. <laughs> Today's video live is sponsored by... Are you by going to Devon Truck Shed? Yes, I am. Um, don't know what. Yeah, uh, tractor still in workshop. Don't know what that means. Heated seats is best. Cooled also if you have sticky days and leather seat. Truck racing at Donington Park. Yeah, I do want to go to that actually. That is one that I've kind of penciled in that I might do this year. How long have you been driving trucks for? Uh, for 14 years now. Wow. I must like it. Is that possible <laughs> when you're only 21? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> Where we got? Uh, da, da, da. What's your favourite tractor? What's your favourite tractor? My favourite tractor no, is... that's for me or you. Mm. Oh, Ollie, what's your favourite tractor? And Gemma, what's your favourite wagon? Oh, so you... Do we... 724, but you can answer the well, tractor no, one because I think it's important. Yeah, no, so I would go for... You know, like, you see those big black fence coming down the road with red, bright red wheels and they look amazing? Mm. It would be something like that, but... I think like a blue and orange Ford Major is <laughs> really old. But that was what we used to pull the carnival cart with before we had a full cargo. All oh, right, you could so have pulled it. You could see... have pulled it with a fence. But you could. All right, what's your well, favourite? Back then. <laughs> Straight six of the eight. Um. I mean, V eights are lovely, and they get you up a hill faster, but. When you're driving on the flat, you don't really notice a lot of difference. So, I mean, it's always nice, isn't it, to have yeah, a V8. V8. It's like, oh. You know, it's a bit of like, you know, yeah, V8. But I've never had any problems with most of the lorries I've had. So, and they've all been, I had one V8 once for about five weeks. It says you love your microwave, don't get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do love my microwave. I, I do everything in my microwave. Are we going to get you in a tractor for the tractor run? If you want to come. Oh, yeah, I could do. Yeah, you could do, yeah. yeah. December. Over Carnival, I was driving a... Um, what was I driving? Just to say hello. <laughs> uh, oh, it's totally good. Was it yeah. a tractor? Yeah, I was driving a tractor. What says get your truck straight piped? Uh, are you staying at Ollie's tonight? No, you're in Hotel Scania, are you? Yeah, I am in Hotel Scania. In our yard, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, where are we? When are you getting the combine? I'm hoping it's getting built as we speak. Are you going Malvin. to Malvern? No, I'm not, unfortunately. What's your favourite truck of all time? Favourite truck of all time. It's 
quite hard to answer that, to be honest. Um, <gasps> did you watch Pigeon Street when you were little? No, I don't think I did. Pigeon Street, you had like long distance Clara. She was a truck driver. Does anyone remember Pigeon Street that's watching? Mm. What model has it come on? Oh, yeah, 700. New Holland T7. That's what I was driving. <laughs> I feel, I'm glad the way everyone know. knows, not you. <laughs> uh, that's great. Um, Air Fry is the way to go as a wagon driver. Can yeah, you have one in the I cab? Ian's in, really Ian's in Calgary. He says hello. I've been eating your rich hey. teas at Hotel Volvo every time. What's the most expensive load you've ever hauled? That's a good one. Oh, what's that stuff? Well, I don't really know because I don't get too much into the what's ins on? and out of sort of... Oil sea rate was £800 a tonne, so that would be mm. quite heavy for a bulk. There was... I delivered some... Oh, was it Limex? That's quite expensive, I think. Or, yeah. it's, or nobody would... Nobody would haul it because it's a, as I worked out, Sticks. it's an absolute to get out of the trailer. Yeah. But we, we got paid a good rate for it because no one would do it. And then I realised why no one would do it <laughs> when I shoveled it out. <laughs> <laughs> what's your, what, someone just said, what's your worst load you've carried? Probably. Yeah, that Limex. Yeah. What's the easiest load? Oh, it's just general grain, wheat, so the, so barley. The, the girl here today, I've forgotten the name, sorry. Um, she said she loves moving oil seed rape because it just oils the body oh, and yeah. slips out. Yeah. I said, Any wait grain. till you move it in the rain. Yeah, yeah. Then all the half one stick. Yeah. Um, someone's going to spread in Limex tomorrow. Traffic Gold is horrible. Have you ever done that? Oh, yeah, I have done Traffic Gold, but Limex is worse. <laughs> and that's saying something. Have you ever done any low load of work? Uh, there you, no, oh, there you go. Actually. Is it Riley Lambert? She's watching. So that was who was here ah. today. And she's th debating doing a YouTube channel. I think she should. Yes. Um, I'm the girl from today. She's got a motorbike. Bike chick. Mm. I've never got on with motorbikes. I had a go on one. I, well, I did my CBT and I just got really nervous because I was so small on like really big roads and there's loads of traffic. I, like being I know that it's a bit vehicle. weird, isn't it? You seem <laughs> yeah. to find that truck drivers like, like motorbikes, and it's just like one extreme no, to yeah. the other, isn't it? Like, no, I you're went out with some and, and safe and went to, onto a motorbike. I couldn't do it. Have I seen the Somerset, the Somerset Carnival? Is that what you're on about, though? Is yeah, so it? Somerset Carnival. So there's seven in our circuit, which are the big ones, and then there's quite a lot of others that have big carts. They're not. It's not as big as the Somerset circuit but they somerset carnivals in general are really big right someone said uh, we won't have trucks on the tractor on because we have enough tractors uh, have you test driven the scania 770 yes i have yeah i did that but out in norway is lee roy still at wayne's transport no uh, we won't go into that though. you start doing a new youtube channel riley lambert hopefully coming soon the message before yours Joe Seal has trouble tipping Trafford Gold on Tuesday. Ah, uh, it's probably because his shed's uh, not that high. Right. Yeah, well, Trafford Gold, you can have your body right up and still you'll have stuff left on the floor. Yeah, so Trafford Gold is after they ferment the wheat to take the ethanol off it to provide fuel. What's left, the high protein bits of the grain, um, is called Trafford Gold because it's made in Trafford Park in Manchester. And it's very sticky. Where is the furthest place you've ever carted to? Mm, I went from Plymouth to Scotland once. So that was. Oh, no, no, because I went to um, Poland. <laughs> Bit of difference. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was quite far. Oh, Joe checks his traffic all outside. We used to have a Scania and it set on fire. Not had a wagon since. Uh, uh, what's your favourite car at Newmarket have done? Newmarket? Oh, who's that asking that? Uh, Ryan Owens Farms. Uh, Newmarket. Uh, anyone that Chris has been driving dressed as a woman. Random. <laughs> Do you ever go there to Carlsberg, car. Northampton or Hagen? Oh yeah, I have been to Carlsberg. Yeah, because you can park on the bay and then there's like a big silo with a Carlsberg sign on top. And um, I've actually Does got... Does make a good thumbnail? Yeah, I've got a picture actually on my Instagram and I... I titled it, if, 
if Carlsberg did tracks. Ah, what's your favourite thing about the 724? The fact that it only has four steps to get in, not five. And it's got a DAB radio, which is pretty good. Um, loads of questions have come past and I've missed them. Do you let people come and do work experience? I have got someone coming this year, yes. Uh, would you come to Australia and drive? Who's that, to me or to you? To you, I presume. I would, but I know people have gone out there as truck drivers and it's... It's not that easy to get on road trains. I think you've got to be out there driving for so long before you get out onto the road trains. Didn't know Joe and Becky having a baby. Yes, I did before before YouTube did. Um, <laughs> how many liters can how many liters can you in your truck? I don't know. What that means fuel or the fuel, engine size. Mm. Do you know what? There's five hundred and thirty-seven people watching, and only one hundred and four people have given it a thumbs up. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, Peterborough Truck Show. Uh, yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be able to make Peterborough, but if I do, it'd be like a surprise. Someone says something, last day in Runcorn, don't understand that. Um, last day of Paul Sun tomorrow. No, have you no idea. ever hauled to Ireland? No, I haven't actually. That's one place I haven't been. You wouldn't would be able to come and see one year. I don't know whether she means Gemma or me. Gemma's not far away from me. Ollie, I'm coming up to your way, maybe. Your farm, how many liters of the truck done that one? What's the worst thing car drivers do to truck drivers? Generally just cut them up. But um, the whole, you know, if you come up behind a car and you go to overtake, and then the car will speed up and we're limited to 56, so we don't change our speed, but the car driver can speed up and slow down and speed up and slow down. So you're constantly going out in the second lane and coming back in and going out and coming back in. Where's your favourite burger van to stop at? Starbucks. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I'm one the... that you just told me about in. Um... Oh yeah, there's one in Launceston that's very good. Um, oh, it's got to be Jan's at Clumpton. Jan's. I every time I work a Saturday, I will go in Jan's. <laughs> so, um, Riley just said we could be here all day complaining about car drivers. <laughs> yeah, we could. What's your favourite film? Oh, I don't know, because I like, there's a few films that I like, um, probably <laughs> the most, uh... You're going to say something about trucks in, aren't you? I was thinking that no, you were going to say, gonna like... No, I was going to say Hot Fuzz, because they're, like, real Oh, that's because it's filmed by you, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, no, I, I like films I say that make me laugh. I, I'm quite a fan of, like, you know, Crocodile Dundee and Indiana Jones and stuff like that. But, um, Showing your age then. <laughs> anything that will make me laugh. Was the digger girl in Norway with you? Yes, she was. Uh, someone was asking about the litres in the truck. I presume that must be something. Oh, uh, so I probably put in about, if I'm near and empty, I probably put in about 300 litres. Um, what's your favourite biscuit? <laughs> oh, yeah. So we, we said that just now. So um, it is a bourbon. Um, that is because my great grand used to give me those and it's more nostalgia than anything else. But, you know, there are other great biscuits like somebody said rich tea and obviously the hobnob. But, um, Got to be yeah. back to the future. Oh, back to the future, flex capacitor. There's a, vid there's a video I want to get with my truck that kind of... Of a DeLorean? Um, yeah, but I need another truck to break down to do it. <laughs> That's a bit... Why? <laughs> it's hard to describe, but once it happens, when it happens, you'll get it, and I will tag you in the video. Okay. Uh, what load did you take from Portland to Selby? Portland to Selby? Good question. What was... <laughs> Did I not say on the video? Keeping them in suspense. I can't I remember myself. It was some sort of pellet. Do you not like Convoy? Yeah, I do like those films. Although I don't know why they made the only woman who was a truck driver crash, Black Widow. Have you ever done a pull off between your truck and a car, etc. for the likes? No, no, I have. I Probably because I'd know I'd lose. Um, snacks are very Irish. When did you combine come in? 
Uh, does pineapple belong on a pizza? <laughs> yes, it certainly does. I love pineapple on a pizza. What's your dream tractor to buy? It's got to be a big fen in black. Can I get you to Kelso? You need to come to Kelso Truck and Steam Rally. Oh, where's that? Um, about 40 minutes mm, south of here, Cheshire. What date's that? It is the end of June, because last year we took right. our combine from it. We put our, we had a combine there and we took it from there and then went combine straight away. Opinions on a fast track, I presume that's to you. <laughs> to me? Yeah. I don't know, I've never driven one. How do you like your big scan, yeah? Oh, it's lovely. What's your favourite thing in your truck? Mm, what is the favourite thing in my truck? Well, she thinks, well, yes. <laughs> according to show. someone else, it's my microwave, because I do do everything in my microwave. Um, but I do like my little uh, vanity mirror I've made. <laughs> Took a walk between the class and Gemma's truck. It's leaking water today. Um, my boss would not be happy with that. <laughs> will the trip back from Ollie's be on your video? In fact, um, you're not filming anything, did you? You came in daylight and filmed anything, did you? What no. What time in the morning? Not too early. Probably uh, six-ish. Some daylight. Yeah. Uh, someone doesn't have a thing. Ollie, are you going to sleep in the combine on your tour? No, we're going to stay in hotels, so class are kindly. A lot of the dealerships are going to park in overnight and they're actually sponsoring the hotels for us, most of them. Worst city to drive in. <laughs> That's obvious, London. There's a girl, actually, I went out to Norway with um, called Jodie, pink trucker, and she drives around London all the time. She is crazy. Absolutely nuts. I don't know how she does it. Have you ever tipped in Cornwall? Yes. Yeah, we do, do uh, go down to Cornwall sometimes. So I said let Joe um, join on live, don't do that. I think we need to sleep in the grain tank. We did think about that when we're going to do it, no stop. I've got one for Gemma. As I know, I've had many too. What's the worst or best story you have about men making judgments for us women in the industry? I don't know. I don't really, I try to um, like forget about it when people are funny, but... Yeah, I've had people shout at me and tell me to get back in the kitchen and stuff like that, but I try try not to dwell on it too much. We're in the I kitchen think it's now. A bit yeah. <laughs> I think it's a bit archaic, really. Someone said, have you ever tipped in Cornwall? And then someone else says, whereabouts in Cornwall? Cornwall? All sorts of places, to be honest. We go down to um, Holsworthy and places like that. Will the, will the trip back from here be in your video? Um, I don't think so, because it will probably be quite a boring day, to be honest. Um, I will be loading in Liverpool um, and taking it straight back down south. So I've found that some of the really long trips are a bit boring because all I do is drive. So I try to make it a bit more interesting by doing more localised stuff that's a bit more interesting, if that makes sense. Uh, do you struggle with stopping for comfort breaks as you're a woman? Yes. It's almost impossible sometimes. Um, toilets and shower facilities are not great at all for men or women, I must say. Um, but for women, they are few and far between. And even when you tip at some mills and um, places like that, the women's toilets are normally locked and you've got to find somebody with a key. Now, normally the key is with somebody who works in an office nine till five. So if you're tipping out of those hours, it is quite a struggle to use toilets. So I'm an expert at peeing under my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> you must have a bladder like a camel because I think yeah, you've been here. Well, you've got here one. about six o'clock. It's now half nine and I'm not seeing you go for a wee yet. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite stop place that you've stopped to sleep or shower? Mm. So now I'll be giving away my favourite spot. <laughs> when you find a good spot as a trucker, you do not. I've told tell you anyone. we have a shower in our offices. <laughs> um, uh, are you going to swap the Scania for a DAF? No. To be honest, DAFs are probably well. I haven't tried out the new one, so I'm not going to um, 
discard the new one, but dafts in the past, I find them quite annoying. Rhymes, I like dafts in the past. Mm. Poet and I didn't know it. The, the long ones are the best. I don't know what Riley's talking about there. Sorry, you'll have to... Oh, the long trips, yeah. Oh, so, right. like, the long trips are good, but they're a bit boring to watch, really. When I'm in Suffolk, will I be going to Richie West? Yes. So, North Cornwall, are you driving the car to gain this year? Yes, that is the plan. Um, I'm a bit... Sort of a little bit disappointed, because... Um, it might not be me and my dad this year. My dad's licence comes up for renew every single year now. Um, so he has to go for a medical every single year now that he's um, hit the grand old age of 65. So um, he's not sure whether to renew it or not. Although it's a massive thing to give up when you've had it for so long. So I'm hoping he does it. Just but it's... I'm starting to make the drink you now before <laughs> we went live, so I'm going to just make the drink still. It is starting to get a bit much for him, to be fair, to, you know, it, it's a hell of a job to take a cart around and walk miles around the cart when you're not driving, you're a road crew captain, but I think I'm going to struggle if he's not there because I always look to my dad for a, a look of support or advice or something like that, so, yeah, I will be driving this year. There was, what was that question then about, uh, have you ever been to Lincolnshire? Uh, Scammels are nice. The XF has a great good cab. There's something there about... Um, don't get a daft. No, daft. Do you know what? The biggest problem with the daft is that blimmin' warning that noise. Have you ever driven an American truck? Yes, only around a yard though. But I have driven one. So, tell them about that time you went to America. Yeah, so I went out to America to... Sorry if the cat was loud. Um, basically, I met this girl on uh, Instagram and we got chatting and stuff and she drove a truck out in America and she said, well, why don't you come and see? So I went out to um, America to see her for a week, uh, which was a bit of a risk, to be fair. And I think, to be fair, both of us were as scared as each other because we both didn't know whether we were really what we said we were, um, but it turned out to be the best for both of us. And we, get, we got on really well, we still get on really well. Um, she did all the big American things with me. So she took me out in her truck, she took me to a rodeo, she took me to Brockton Fair, she took me out for steak nearly every single night. Um, we went to Taco Bell, um, we went illegal streetcar racing. There's a Taco um, Bell near Joe Seals, isn't there? <laughs> it was it. before we had Taco Bell over here. So, yeah, it was... Oh, Wendy's. Oh, Wendy's. Wendy's. Good, yeah. We went to Wendy's. Um, what else did we do? We did all just like... Oh, I went to a, a truck show in America as well. So that was quite eye-opening because the trucks are so different over there to what they are over here. If you had any truck, what would it be? Uh, yeah, we, we kind of went through that. So, like, a generally a Scania 770, um, V8 no, sort of thing. Uh, no, thank you. But, you know, there's, I do quite like old trucks as well. Um, so something like a, uh, 142 or something like that would be quite nice. If Joe's still watching, um, does he know what truck fart Mr. V has? He brought it to the truck show because it said an napkin to me. Oh, Joe. Don't get a daft. No, don't get a daft. Joe still said don't get a daft. I, yeah. I would never buy a daft, personally. Get a twin tag axle. Mm, I prefer a midlift for my job, to be fair. I know they look cool. They, look, they do look really cool, but for my job, I would pick a midlift. I've tried a tag. Don't Showers know. in Penrith truck stop are supposed to be really good. I've never stopped in Penrith, I don't think. Do you only haul bulk stuff or do you ever do livestock? Um, I do, I did milk first and then I do, now I do grain and stone. Um, I did live on a farm for a number of years and I kept a small flock of sheep. So if you call a cattle box sort of, 
towed by a um, pickup, then yeah, I've hauled livestock, but nothing major. <laughs> Questions are coming in that fast now, they're hard to keep up. Um, hey guys, question from Ollie. What dates are you doing the combine charger on or what? Make sure your downlands and you get there. Um, right, so what did I just say then? We're going to be Thursday the, was it the 10th? The 4th. Oh no, say so fourth to the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, fourth to the eighth. I was just, sorry, I was, I was to getting the calendar open. Oh. You need my face, don't you? <laughs> um, I think I'll be there Thursday the eighth at Land's End, hopefully. Have you ever got your rig stuck or jammed anywhere? Me? Doing farm work? Yes. I have had to be towed out a few times in different places, generally because of just bad surfaces. Everyone's having a big debate about tag axles and mid lifts. Quite funny. Uh, Joe Steele should stick to Scania. It's actually owned by A. What does A mean? It's all about Penrith Truck Drop. Do it, Penrith Truck Drop is, is really good. I we recommend really clean too, and there's a cafe, but it's owned by A, O A W. Ah right. Which is great because one of the drives we get on for free and get this out. Years ago, we used to do ice and snow clearance for as the distribution centres, and we used to have a cafe, and the cafe would run at cost. So right. You could have your breakfast uh, and a yeah. piece of toast was three pence. Yeah. The coffee was like three p. It, you could have a full breakfast for like 23p. It was nuts. Is your partner a lorry driver? <laughs> no, do you know what? He hated... Well, he didn't hate lorries. He just... He never had anything to do with trucks or vehicles or anything. But he's the sort of person that could build me a house. Um, he just had no interest in vehicles. As long as it got him to work and back, that was fine. Since meeting me, he has learned a lot about trucks. And his favourite truck that's on the road are the s and g trucks which he calls the minty ones why is that because they are pretty are you coming through lifting on with the combine oh i went through lifting this morning actually there's the list of where we're going gemma's been wanting um, to pace notes for us for some they'll be going on the a30 passing lifting so they'll be going through like the the turnings at was it broad broadwood would you and yeah, just, just the other end of lifting. Riley's going to sleep, got to deliver at Erith at 6am. Oh, how far did you oh, yeah. get? You got oh. you picked up at Sheffield, how far did you get? Erith is a nightmare. Have you ever tipped topsoil? No, I haven't. No, we do, um, we're task registered, so we can only haul grain and first time quarried aggregate. Have a good night, Ollie. I'm going, okay, through Penzance. Yeah, on yeah. the A30, past Penzance. If we can fit. Um, could always cheat, put it on a ferry and <laughs> fair it around. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been to Lincolnshire? If so we're, I'm literally on the A12 right now, about 20 minutes away from ADM here. Oh, so you nearly made it then. Wow. Yeah, because you can park there overnight as well. In fact, did you hear me beep at you on the roundabout? Because <laughs> I, I, I was behind you before we got on the M62 and I beeped as we went for the lights. Good luck with that, is that because it's narrow? No, to be fair, most of the A30, well, from um, Exeter down to Penzance, it's ma mainly dual carriageway, so, but it is quite hilly. That would be your biggest problem. That's the Hamleys we're stopping at that they just said then, wasn't it? L l l uh, yeah, at um, Launceston. We'll be towing the bed behind the combine, probably not, because it's turning out to be a logistical nightmare and not quite legal. Yes, I did. And you have me on the hazard of the slipper. Ah, I thought you'd might. I wasn't sure if you'd see me. Um, night, night, anyway. Ever fancy doing ice road work in Canada? That would be cool. Mm. Do it for a season and I'll come for like a week just to see. Yeah, but I might die. <laughs> What's your favourite crop to go? Probably wheat. Uh, I don't know if it's already been asked, but have, or would you do continental lorry work? Yeah, I would. I've, I've done it once before and... Um... I would definitely do it again. Thanks, Callum. Um, he's saying good luck from Landon's Penance. Oh. Are you going serious? Yes, I'm doing a talk for both days, actually. 
And the combine will be at cereals as well, with a surprise, but I'm not allowed to tell you what it is yet. Also, you can park at ADM and Area, but due to the at eight thirty two PM and my time ran out at eight thirty two, so I didn't risk it. Uh... Oh. Um no we're not towing the head bed because it's it just it's not quite legal. Ever been to the Alaman? No, I haven't. No. I would like to go, to be fair. Have a look around. All right, they've opened a new highway in the dirt. Oh. 608 people watching and only 278 have clicked the thumbs up. Terrible. Uh, what's your favourite? Oh, we've done that one. Why did you start doing videos? Why did I start doing videos? So, um, a couple of reasons, really. Well, I started with um, carnival videos because I wanted to show people a bit about carnival. Two, I'm building a an extension on my house and... Prices have doubled, so I thought I'd try and make a bit of money. But the main reason I have started making videos is uh, my gramps used to watch a lot of YouTube. He used to really enjoy the digger fails and the trucking videos. Does he watch more? And no, well, he's dead now. No, but, um, <laughs> no he, he did really enjoy those videos and he used to follow certain people and as somebody who was caring for my gran for many years and being stuck at home, it was such a big comfort to him. And actually, the people who are following me now are older people. And it kind of feels like I'm doing the right thing because I feel like I'm kind of giving back. Thanks, Tony. Someone says... Am I worried about the final drives boiling on the combine? They aren't made for such distances. According to the class engineers, it will be fine. Lisa Curry, I just thumbs up. Thank you. It's very annoying. Is that my friend, Lisa Curry? I don't know. She's from that way on because she said she was going to come to Penzan. No way. I, think. I went to. Is that, Lisa... Is that Lisa Curry that I went to school with? Rob Gassar sends his regards. Oh, about? Rob Gasser. Oh, he has got a lovely ERF. Uh, someone said... No, sorry. So there's two Lisa Curry? Oh, no way. I have got a very good friend called Lisa Curry. Uh, uh, very nice. Serial has changed his location. It's all right for me because it's a lot closer. C can I please arrange to drop into Lifton, Strawberry Fields and Farm Shop? I don't know whereabouts is that. Well, it, to be fair, it's not too far off the A30. You can kind of come off at um, but in like, one junction, drive through it and come, off, come back on the A30 at another junction. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to, we're trying to make it so that it, we only really stop. Yeah. Like so one, it is once a day, if you will. Just before um, Launceston. So if people wanted to see you, you'd probably be better off seeing them in Launceston. Is that where the class is? Yeah. Yeah. Rob Gasser says his regards. Yeah. Uh, how was... Meeting Sandy and the Digger Girl in Norway, and also the Fire Princess. Oh, hi, Princess. <laughs> Fire Princess. Oh, I bet she'd love to be called that. Yeah, I. well, all of them. Yeah, Jody, Sam, all of them. They were absolutely brilliant. What's the closest you'll be to Doncaster with the combine run? Probably Widness, because we're coming <laughs> down the... the, the uh, West Coast, not the East Coast. If you could have any car, what car would you have, Ollie and Gemma? I don't know. Well, I don't know if it counts as a car, but it's a vehicle. I'd have a um, Volkswagen split screen. You, have you seen the new ones now? The, yeah, they look really nice, actually. I got, I'm quite impressed with that. Well. I'd probably have a um, super impressive 22B. Mm. Maybe what an X works one. Are you towing the header or will it just leave? I think we're just going to take the combine because it just adds a level of complication and extra trucks. Hello to Aww, Charlotte. I hope she's okay. Yes, nice. you just put James to bed. Are you going through Shropshire on the A49? Yes, I think we are. Are you going to Devon Truck Show? I think we've already had that one. Yeah. Would you ever drive a Marvel truck instead of the Flying Scotsman? Marvel truck. What's a Marvel truck? I don't know. Oh, Marvel. Maybe. 
No. Uh, what's the closest you've been to Tom Cat? We read that one. So many questions. Um, I feel like classic early fast at 80k, missing from my collection. I know someone oh, another home. shout out to Robert Gasser. Honestly, if you go on, are you on Facebook? Yeah. Find Robert Gasser because some of the stuff he puts on is absolutely hilarious. Will they open a farm shop? Mm, don't really grow veg. Is James talking yet? He was going... He said thank... Well, can't, you could kind of make out that he said thank you. He goes, ah, yeah. Uh, yes, in Pretz 22 bees, I've got mental money. And I had the chance of buying David Lapworth, the XMD of Pro Drive Spawn for £23,000 in 19... No, hold on, 2004. And I didn't... My husband Lee says you two are his favourite YouTubers. Oh, thank Aww. you very much. <laughs> um, are you stopping at Class Western Sarah says it. No, hopefully Adam Henson's. Um, are you calling him at Class Western? No, just read that. What would you like the owners to paint on the back of your next truck? I think he does a marine theme. Yeah, so um, mm. If I could choose, I know this is going to sound really odd, but um, Pocahontas. And I know that probably doesn't seem that nautical, but I would like Pocahontas and the three ships that came in from England to um, conquer America in the background. So there was, was it the Godspeed and there was two others as well that conquered America. So I would quite like that, to be honest, if I had to go for the nautical theme. If not, I know what I want, but I'm not going to tell anyone because if I ever actually Surprise. own my own truck and um, get the chance or have the money to airbrush it, then that's what I will have. So there's about five questions then. Are you coming to Baron Marble Show in Northern Ireland? Probably not. I don't no. think I'll get time. Eat his seats and steering wheel on must these days. What's your dream tractor? 724, maybe 728. Are you, or 1050, are you going to do more bulk blowing stuff? Yeah, well, I... Basically, with a bulk blow-in, I cover holiday. So, unless somebody's on holiday, or the, the two people that actually do the bulk blow-in full-time, unless they're on holiday, I don't do it. And it's just been a, a quiet time for holiday, but I'm sure that soon they'll start taking holiday and I will be doing a bit. What's your favourite day of the week? That's a really good question. Uh, so simple. Saturday but really... and Sunday. <laughs> Harry's farm is good viewing. Yeah, I watched his video last night. Uh, thoughts about the 6R185. There's loads of them in there. I'm called Ollie as well. What a coincidence. <laughs> That's the question I was asking regarding your theme truck. What's your favourite theme? I'm making Lego model Sundays, Captain America Marvel truck. I did have Harley Quinn on the back of one of my trucks, and I think that was probably my favourite. Is that the like, one that's dressed up? Yeah, she was like. like for Halloween? Yeah. Yeah, Are you that iconic to look. Land or buy or rent, always looking. Uh, will I ever get a Massey? Hopefully not. Um, where's it gone now? So a model truck down the model show for seven hundred pounds. Wow. Are you aware of Roadworks on A thirty Carling Cross at Shivers? Is that what you were on about before? No, no. Is that on the? The week that you are going? I don't know. Uh, you do a collab bleh, collaboration with Truck Ah, well, possibly. I would like to. Um, where are we at now? Right. It's 49 minutes so far we've been live for. So um, has anyone got any final questions? Because we'll probably wrap it up because we don't want to be over an hour because people get bored. Oh, someone's excited that you'll be going past her. Yeah, we will. Um, Shropshire girl. Electric truck, yes or no? Um, do you know what? I think we need to be open-minded and I'm, I'm willing to learn a bit more about it because I think, you know, there's going to be a time, maybe not in our lifetimes, but when oil and other fuels are going to run out. So I think we need to look into other things, whether it would be a solution or not, I don't know, but I think we need to... to explore things at one point that we thought the world was flat so 
I think, <laughs> you know, keeping an open mind isn't a bad thing. Have you ever picked up or dropped anywhere famous? Ah, well, I used to pick up my Calibus's milk. Oh, and I've been to Ollie's farm, obviously. Gemma, sling is a star. I don't know what that means. Sling is a star. Oh, sling. Oh, uh, hello there, Dutch fans. That was a bit Irish then. That long to Dutch. Is that, that's Thursday, isn't it? No, Wednesday night. Launston. Oh, uh, yeah, was it the Wednesday or the Thursday you'd be in Launston? Yeah, no, we'll be leaving it on Thursday morning, right. so Wednesday night. If you did not get the job as a trucker, what would you do as well as you, Ollie? Um, what would I do? God knows. I always, always quite fancied welding, to be honest. Do you want to finish them steps off? <laughs> did, did a bit of arc once. Did I get a toast trap from Seems Well? used recently. Um, I think it was from um, Agrilink. Worst loads of haul. Uh, yeah, we did that, that Limex. Uh, ongoing robots make marking dual carriageway. Nicely scanned his um, and we're going to die. Did you ever get your Lego tracked off Amazon? I might consider building one. Send it. I said multiple types of it. Hey? I might consider building you one and sending it. I'll send multiple attachments with it. I've been thinking, I don't know what you mean, sorry. Um, it's coming straight past that oh, we've done that one. Loads of people asking, that the same person asking about Massey. Can you teach us? Ollie can teach you to weld. Let me know when you're going to Penzance. Thursday, the, what did we say, the 9th, was it? Uh, yeah, it was April 9th, I think. What do you think, electric truck, your test drove, you said Well, that. to be honest, bloody quick off the mark. I've seen the Lego Technic Zero, yeah, I have. You guys are going to please do a live together again. Well, we can yeah. do next time you're up. Hopefully next time you're a bit, it might be summer. Yeah, that's, that's probably summer. Up. And you can actually come on the combine, can't you? Ooh, that'd be good. I've never driven a combine harvester. 9th of May, no, June. June, yeah, June. I, I'm not, I can't remember what... Um... 9th of May in Suffolk, visiting... Um, class <laughs> <laughs> are you straw insulating rendering your shed soon yes hopefully does Gemma get excited about tea cabs like trucker tim does uh not so much not i don't think anyone can get as excited about a tea cab with a tag axle as trucker tim but <laughs> it might be close what's your biggest mistake at work i don't know if that's for you or you for me or you going in on monday have I changed anything about watching Clarkson's Farm? No. Um, combine and Jebba truck calling at all. Yeah, have you changed anything? Uh, will you have your new combine with this harvest? I'll hopefully have my oh, new can combine you sing drive. The song? Ah, well, <laughs> I can't tell you on the live, but to the Wurzels. Right. Might be performing very close to my combine. Wow. Have I ever been to Air Paris Evans? Yes. Uh, I think I've done them ones. Yeah. Tim looks really old. <laughs> I think he's about my age. I don't know, actually know how old he is. Oh, that'd be really... Because... Um, Swap jobs today. Can't, I'm not going to license. The Wurzels are actually performing at Devon Truck Show this year. Are they? Mm. Yeah. I know people who know, know them personally as well. Steal some of my biscuits, give you two recipes of your favourite. She's got some. Already <laughs> giving us some steak home. I'll have to find the hobnobs. How is the boxes of biscuits lasting? I think Well, the big ones with 71 in seem to last about 24 hours. Is that, I think, 30, you think Trucker Tim is 34? Um, I don't know. Is Trucker Tim 34? I don't know. Where are you driving your combine from? John O'Groats. Wayne Cat has a nice tea cab. Oh, I don't know if I know that one. Mm. Mm. Right, well, should we um, call it a night? Because Gemma's got to get up early. I haven't really, but I've got a long day tomorrow and you'll find out why in a few days. Ooh. It is though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 
Mm. Oh, yeah, big things. Big things. It could be interesting, actually. Depends if he takes his phone with him everywhere. Mm. What, Chuck Tim is 34, apparently. Is what, he? What models combine? Eight to 700. Can't you leave me, Rob, work his bit? He wanted to. Give us a hint. Find mm. out tomorrow. I don't know how you could give a hint without... Lisa Curry says her and her husband will be at Lamb's End instead of the Cornwall show. It's on for three days anyway, so you can do both. Yeah. Thanks for the great trap. Safe trip. Uh, thanks for the chat. Tim is 34. <laughs> we, we definitely think Tim is 34 now. I feel really bad. I said I think he's my age. He's <laughs> clearly like a lot younger. Um, right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yes, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed the live. Um, yeah. If you have, it's still going to be there for other oh. people to watch. You could get Andy Bennett to teach you how to work. Yes, I would. Andy Bennett is... um the BBC Somerset um, radio presenter, and he knows the Wurzels personally. Uh, well, yeah. you might see yeah. them on this channel very soon. <laughs> yes, but thank you very much, guys. Thanks, everyone. Don't yeah, forget, for check out Gemma's channel. I'll put the link below this video once I've made it go, like, in the story thing, whatever you call it. Uh, what was that then? Uh, oh, birthday bumper. Yeah, there's a link below. Everybody. Right, thanks, everyone, and I will see you again. Thanks for watching. Check her out. And thanks for the questions. Bye. Thank you very much.